Hey guys, it's Auntie Debbie here. Um, Today I want to talk to you about my alcoholism and what my experience was with it. Um, I'm only sharing on my personal experience with it. I started drinking when I was a teenager. Um, We lived with my stepfather and two stepsisters and it was pretty much hell. Um, I was alone a lot. My mom wasn't home when I got home and um, I was a very, very lonely teenager. So when I went to parties, I started drinking because it just seemed to numb the pain for me. For me, it was like, oh, look at this. I discovered something that actually lets me relax, helps me relax. And um, that's when I started drinking. For me, drinking was like an escape, an escape from the emotional pain and loneliness that I felt. Then I got married when I was... um, when I was 18, sorry. I married a man that was 15 years older than I, than me, (laughs) and um, I had two daughters back to back. So I drank to relieve, now these are not excuses, this is just why I did it at that particular time. I drank when I could to just, you know, relax a little bit, have some fun, but the way I felt about alcohol was that, you know, it was an escape, I always felt that, like, it was an escape, like, it was something that was good for me, because it helped me relax, it helped me be able to function, okay, as the years went on, I drank, because I needed to just be able to let go because it was just so um, chaotic. My household was just chaotic. It was like living in a minefield. Um, My husband was abusive. Um, There was always some shit going down, right? Yelling and screaming and, and I just didn't seem like I could do anything right. So I drank to get through those situations. Now, was I, like, stumbling around drunk? No. But I was um, needing that drink. Not every day yet. But at that time, when things got really bad, I I drank to alleviate the pain. At least that's what I thought. Now, as the years went by, I found myself drinking more and more. Because I was like, wow, you know, this is the one thing that I can... That is, like, mine, my precious... And I can uh, drink, so it was like, go, 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 right? I uh, kept on drinking more and more, and it just escalated. Especially if I was having a problem, which was usually always. (laughs) I drank more and more. As a matter of fact, I used to get up, uh, when I would get up and make breakfast on Saturdays, I would have a big glass of, um, it was probably three-fourths vodka with one-fourth orange juice, and I would be making breakfast for my family, because I felt like I needed that to get through my day, you know? That was the one thing that just got me through the day. So, um, I just kept on going with it. I never missed work. I never got arrested for a DUI. Yes, I did drive drunk, but I never got arrested for a DUI. And um, two years went by. I was, you know, the drinking just kept escalating and escalating. And I kept going with it because I felt like this is the, I need this stuff. I need it. I cannot function without this stuff, right? So um, alcohol changes my personality. It really makes me... uh, and initially, it seemed like it was helping me calm down, but it actually was making me more angry and more boisterous and more aggressive. And um, But I kept going with it because I thought it was working, right? 
I mean, it had worked all the other times. Why wouldn't it work now? So I kept going with it. (sighs) Unfortunately, it got to the point where it stopped working. Oh, crap. It stopped working, but I felt like I still needed it because I didn't know what was going to happen if I stopped drinking, right? So it took a turn for the worse. Things started to get sad and blue. I got angrier and angrier, and I mean, I became completely unapproachable because the alcohol, it irritates your nerves. It doesn't... um. I mean, it it can be medicinal if you just take a little bit, you know, like in cough syrup. But if you're going to be doing it on a daily basis and depending on it like a crutch, no, it's not good for you. So that's what I was doing. I was just drinking all the time. It didn't matter how I didn't know what was going to happen. It was like riding a roller coaster, like riding. um, I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera so much. It was like riding a roller coaster, you know up and down. I didn't know what was going to happen, what was going to be, um, what was going to happen next. And it got so bad, so bad that I just, I swelled all up. I had slits for eyes and, um, I was sweating profusely. I had to cut all my hair off. Uh, I just could not stop sweating. I went to work smelling like alcohol. I'm sure I couldn't smell it because I was drunk, you know, I wasn't stumbling around, I was bumping into walls at work a little bit, but um, I was a very high-functioning alcoholic, got my work done, everything, didn't, didn't miss work because of it, near the end I did, but it just went from the pink cloud to go, 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 this is really working, till it's not working anymore, and um, I just kept going with it because I didn't know how to stop. Finally, it got so bad that I was getting sick and the hangovers were not one day, they were days. Blackouts, I was having blackouts and you know, when you just don't remember what you did and you just lose time. There were events that happened that I, people told me about later, I didn't remember them, those are blackouts. In the store, when you, um, you know, walk in and you're, you go to reach for, I don't know, bacon, and then you um, turn around looking for your cart. Cart's not there. Comes to found, come to find out, you never had a cart. You had a basket, a teeny little basket, but you're looking for a cart. Why? Because you're missing bits and pieces of reality. So this is what happened to me. All this. Um, I just became so angry and so, so lost, so mentally changed. Alcohol, I never ended up in jail or anything like that, but alcohol really affects me mentally. I get very depressed. I'm not a happy drunk. I'm a, I'm a angry, teary, um, very devastated drunk. I mean, it really, I had very bad problems with depression because alcohol is a sedative and drinking too much of it sedates you to the point of you want to commit suicide you know and it becomes very very dark and very very lonely my daughters couldn't talk to me because I was intolerable I was angry about everything. I was emotionally in so much pain. I think I probably had a nervous breakdown, but I never went to the hospital. I went to Alcoholics Anonymous, and they really pulled me out of it. I still work the program, and um, I go to meetings. I go to three to four meetings a week. I get a lot of uh, counseling, a lot of sharing with other women, and um, but yeah. It was really, really hard. So if you are developing a drinking problem, if you think you have a drinking problem, you do. If you think, because normal people don't think they have a drinking problem. If you're using it as a crutch, you need to find other ways to cope with life. Because alcohol is not the way. Um, A lot of people, you can die from an exploding esophagus. 
you can um, obviously um, you can bleed out. Alcoholics bleed out, which means any opening in your body will bleed. They can bleed out. Um, you can get wet brain. Well, your it's not that your brain's wet. Actually, it dries up your brain. Um, there's just a lot of things that they don't let people know what can happen to you because they want to sell their alcohol. But, um, yeah, that's what happened. So please get help. Um, please check out my other videos on alcoholism, on recovery, on tools you can use to replace alcohol with, um, different tools that teach you how to cope with life because basically that's what I was doing. I was hiding from life and, um, When you hide from life, this is what happens. Everything else is gone. Only the darkness remains. You can't be grateful for anything. You can't appreciate anything. You don't care about anything. It gets to the point where you don't care about anything good or bad. There's no joy. There's just, you're a walking zombie. So please get help. I became a walking zombie, and um, today I can actually, I today I live in gratitude, and I can actually stay in the moment, and um, and just enjoy my life. You deserve that. You deserve to enjoy your life. So please like and share this with any everyone you know. I hope you share it on your Facebook because. People won't tell you they need this. They need to hear this information. And um, please subscribe. Appreciate what you already have. And um, God bless you.